what day it is because I have no idea. Six. Day six. I feel like my lash is on my eyebrow right now. All right, so today it is day six of 15 days of foundation. This is where I'm trying out a new foundation every single day for 15 days. If you've missed any of days one through five, I'm gonna link them down below in a playlist along with everything else you wanna know, what's on the face, products, everything is always down there. So today's foundation is one that I haven't heard anything about, literally nothing on YouTube. When I was researching for this video, I went on to YouTube to try and find videos about it. I can only find a few videos about this product. I feel like this is kind of a hidden one. I never heard of this foundation, no idea existed until one of you guys snapchatted me a while ago saying I had to try it, I'm gonna love it, it has amazing coverage. So I picked it up, this is the Clinique Continuous Coverage Makeup. Now the shades, in this again Clinique what is up with your shades I don't get it the shades are always out of order numbered weird you kind of have to like go to a counter to figure out what shade you are on Sephora this foundation only comes in two shades on their website it comes in four they have a little shade finder thing where you can drag the bar to see what your skin color is and what your corresponding foundation shade would be and they only have three shades on there even though they have four shades on their website creamy glow the shade I have isn't even listed on there so who knows moving past that so the subscriber, I wish I knew his name, I can't remember his name, but he said that 08 Creamy Glow was the lightest shade and he thought that that would match me well. I went with this shade. All right, swatch time right here is the Clinique Continuous Coverage in Creamy Glow. Right here, oh, no, come back. Right here is Clinique Beyond Perfecting in 0.5 Breeze. This one's the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream in 510. Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in Porcelain, which I do not like. I have a full review on this. Jolie Stick Foundation in Soft Cream, which I love. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless 110, which I just did a review on yesterday. So you get 1.2 ounces of product in here and it retails for $25, which I feel like is very reasonably priced, especially considering that a lot of drugstore foundations are now in like the $14, $15 range. So I'm gonna read some of the claims on here. It says it's an opaque camouflage liquid makeup that goes on natural and covers flaws, birthmarks, and scars. This is supposed to be very ideal for acne, scarring, hyperpigmentation, any kind of major stuff on your face that you need to cover up. Get lasting coverage for every skin type. This opaque makeup, did I just read that? Okay, they just said that twice. It can be used as a concealer or as full face makeup. It provides a physical sunscreen, oh, this has SPF in it, and delivers a natural matte finish. It works well with dry to dry combination skin and oily combination or oily skin types for special occasions. So sounds like it's supposed to work for every kind of skin type. That is all of the claims on the foundation. If you're liking 15 days of foundation, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up at any point while you're watching. If you haven't seen them or haven't purchased one yet, the 15 days of foundation t-shirts are here. Half of all of the proceeds are going to Project Beauty Share, which is an organization that helps women in transition and women in need. I made a whole separate video talking about what they do and all that good stuff. So that video will be linked down below along with where you can purchase your 15 days of foundation t-shirt. Whew, literally didn't just breathe. If you want to see how the Clinique Continuous Coverage Makeup applies and wears throughout the day, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. All right, let's do this. I'm drinking tea today instead of my third cup of coffee. What is going on? So I have my dampened Real Techniques Diamond Sponge right here and then my Sigma F80. I'm going to do one on one side of my face, one on the other like usual. Here is the box. Really exciting. So I've already washed, moisturized. Primed the face, Jouer anti blush matte primer. Go ahead and put some of this out on my palette. I have no idea how much of this we're gonna use. It's supposed to be super opaque, full coverage, the deal. I think I'm just gonna start by dotting some on my face. And let's use a brush on this side to start. Oh, heck yeah. It's weird. The way it blends out, it doesn't feel like a foundation, but it's not super, super stiff. Like if you're trying to put a concealer all over your face, we just got almost completely full coverage off of that one layer in like 10 seconds. I don't think I put any down here, so I'm just going to dab some. So far, that's looking really nice. It has like a satin finish. One layer, really awesome coverage. Even though it has really intense coverage, it doesn't look heavy right now. It's just like sitting on my skin really nice. So I'm just gonna go straight in with the sponge and put some on my face. Oh man, such good coverage. Shade, a little dark. I think it can work. If you're lighter than I am, this will probably be too dark. You might need to mix something in with it. 
but bomb coverage that literally just covered everything. So brush versus sponge, they both look amazing. I think I actually might have gotten better coverage with the sponge a little bit. This looks freaking flawless. This looks good, you guys. I might just set my cheeks with powder just so I can blend on top of it if it doesn't completely set on its own. I don't want to put powder on top because the finish looks so beautiful right now and I feel like if I put powder it might get a little bit heavy looking. It's 10.04 so we're going to call the check-in time 10 o'clock. Getting a late start because there were literally guys again outside the window for two hours this morning. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright, so it is now 10.50. Took my sweet time doing makeup today because I'm actually taking photos for something super exciting after I finish filming this. So I'm gonna tell you what's on the rest of my face in a second, but you guys, this foundation looks freaking flawless. The finish of it and the way it's sitting on my skin reminds me of the stick foundation, the Jolie stick foundation I did a review on. This looks just beautiful on camera and I feel like in real life, the texture of it just kind of melts into my skin. I did end up setting my cheeks with the Laura Geller Double Take Baked Powder in Porcelain. I just set my cheek area with that so I could blend stuff on top because it didn't feel like it really set. And then I also just used whatever was left over on my powder brush and just dabbed it right on the center of my face. It doesn't look too heavy where I put the powder on, just kind of mattified it a little bit more. Since this is completely full coverage, I feel like this might be nice for special events depending on how it lasts. So I'm going to do a flash test just so we can see. It has SPF in it. It's only SPF 15, so I'm hoping we don't get a bounce back. Looks pretty dang good in flash photography. I think the only place I got a little bit of bounce back was underneath my eye where I had powder. No complaints at all right now. It looks really good. I'm super excited about this. I hope it holds up really well throughout the day. All right, so super quick on the rest of my face, I used the e.l.f. eyebrow kit to contour. Then I put a little bit of the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light over the top just to kind of warm up my face a little bit. Blush, I used a tiny bit of the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Blush in Make Love instead. Highlight is Ofra You Glow Girl to dupe that collab. All of my eyeshadow is from the Morphe by Kathleen Lights palette. I've been really liking this. I'm wearing a lot of collabs right now. Lashes that are like literally up to my brows right now, but I'm kind of feeling them are Coco Lashes Risqué, Physicians Formula Eye Booster. Lips, Urban Decay Naked Lipstick with a little bit of the Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Gloss in Jackie Ola Mode. Fingers crossed this holds out well throughout the day. The next check-in I do will be in natural lighting so you can see how it looks in a few hours. Check-in time is 10 o'clock. I will be back. All right, so it is now four o'clock-ish. Yeah, four o'clock, so the foundation's been on for six hours. Kind of failed at doing a check-in a couple hours ago, got really sidetracked in. Now we're here. So we're in semi-natural lighting. This is like my room lighting, which has kind of shit lighting, but I can't go out in the living room right now. So let's take a look at the foundation. I think it looks pretty dang good. Um, a little bit of creasing on the upper lip, but nothing major anywhere really. I feel like my oil is pretty under control. It doesn't look super oily. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. My forehead looks really good. There's definitely some creasing around my nose right here. It is like wearing off a little around my nose. Shade wise, I do think it is a bit dark. I think next time I use it, I'll probably mix it in with something a little bit lighter. So right now, no complaints. I'm gonna keep this on and I will check back in throughout the night. My arm is freaking sore from holding up this camera right now. All right, so it is the end of the night. It is now 9.30. Where did the time go? 9.30. So foundation's been on for almost 12 hours. Long check-in. Let's take a look, see how it's looking. It's definitely oxidized a ton. I don't think it's showing up on camera how dark it is in real life, but my chin looks freaking orange. I don't know why, but down here it looks super dark. I do look oily on the center of my face, chin. I think next time I'm just gonna set my whole face with the powder. Upper lip and stuff looks good. No creasing really. I'm definitely gonna have to mix this in with something lighter. If you're pale, this one will be too dark unless you mix it in with something. I love the way that this goes on. I love the coverage. This is one of the highest coverage foundations I've found, I think. I think the biggest thing is that I just look oily. Overall, I really like this one. I think it's worth giving it a go if you want something that has really insane coverage. If you're not someone who needs a ton of coverage, don't go for this. I think this is really for the people that want full, full coverage. I think this would be fine on more mature skin since it didn't really settle into any lines. Dry skin, I think might be okay. And then oily skin, obviously just use a powder. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.